This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Okay, bingo, we're back. I'm Jay Fidel. Here we are on Think Tech, but you knew that. We're on Community Matters today, and we're talking about the upcoming Hawaii First Robotic Tournaments with Maria Tomei, who is deeply engaged in robotics. Yeah. Hi, Maria. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing with robotics? Well, um, I personally am helping to organize the 10 district tournaments that are going to happen um, in November. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not organizing all November. of them. I know. <laughs> Tell me, I am not ready for this to be the end of October, <laughs> but, but it'll be good. And so there are going to be 10 district tournaments, and then the championship is in December. And so each tournament coordinator is pulling together their volunteers. They've got the teams lined up for the event. And so it's been very, very busy and very, very exciting. You're an engineer. Yes. I know this. Yes. So there's got to be a relationship between your interests professionally and these tournaments. There no? might be. There might be. Might yeah. Be a little yeah, something yeah, there. yeah. Yeah. The optimization yeah. process, getting all the right pieces to work together and make make sure that it all happens right. Okay. So give us the the the, the long and long of it. You know. Uh, what are these tournaments? How many people are involved? Uh, okay, cool. What happens at them and uh, yeah. and how they work? Yeah. Well, if we're going to start from the big, okay. So the first is for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. It's international volunteer run. So this is an international program. Yes. We're just doing Hawaii chapter. Exactly. Here. And so every year they have a different topic and they have a bunch of teams. And Hawaii this year has over 100 teams and each team can have up to 10 kids. And of course they've got their coaches and their mentors. What's 100 times parents. 10? Well, about a thousand plus, you know, because yeah, it's over a hundred, yeah, you know. Yeah, but then some teams kids, don't have ten kids. kids. But you've also got um, some schools have a lot of interest, but they can only take, you know, some of the kids, you know, mm -hmm. on the team. So okay. there's there's always a, you know, interest more interest. And these in between their the space. fourth and the eighth grades. Yeah, very. So good. if you're yep. in kindergarten, no, and if oh, you're oh, kindergartners have junior first level. Oh, is that right? I they didn't do. know that. Okay. They do. In fact, they're going to be at the um, tournament. I mean, the state championship in December is going to have the fir junior first Lego leaguers with their their demonstrations. <laughs> okay. And a whole section is I can see devoted it now, to now. Yeah. 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 So, and the topic this year is is water. So it's very civil engineer engineering type of focus. Topic is water. Yeah, hydrodynamics. Okay, so so all the robots yeah. involved have something this year to do with water. Well, the Lego. Okay, so here's. I, I can show you this. The Lego models have representatives of water. This is the big water, and I think it's symbolic of groundwater or distributed water, you know, and your mm -hmm. water distribution systems and stuff. Because this, you use this one to put out the fire. Okay, so it's a little house that has a little thing of, you know, looks like fire. It's, they're all Lego pieces. And then this one is the rain. So these Legos, plastic. Legos, yes, Legos. So but, these, but it represents water. Right. So we don't have actual water cannons. It's probably or, just as well, probably especially better. in the studio. Yes. <laughs> what else you got on the table over here? Okay, so this is what this is a sample robot. Now every team has a different robot because they build it from the pieces. Let's you know, zoom in if we can on that so we can see the detail. It's too beautiful. Yeah, and I don't want to break it. I had to kidnap it from an elementary <laughs> school, and I promised that it would be back before curfew. You know, so I got to get it back to them in in, in the same condition they lent it. So, of so this is the brick part, um, about two by four, by one, you know one and a half or so. And this has the brain in it, mm -hmm. and so when you program it, you know, you, you have the instruction sent from the laptop to this, and this will tell the motors to run. You can have up to four motors. This one has three on it at the moment, and it has sensors, and so you've got a couple color sensors on this one, I think. And so what happens is the kids have to figure out, okay, I need some wheels, so they figure out which wheels they're going to use. A variety uh -huh, of types uh -huh, are available. Uh -huh. They figure out how to attach them, and then they figure out how to attach the motors and the cables and put the sensors on to do the missions. Now, they have also have to figure out which missions they're going to attach first. This one has 18 this year, 18 missions. Can we get a shot of this? Um, See, yeah. That's a listing of it's all the missions. It's a list missions. of the missions, yeah. And this is the, this is the really short version. Okay. But the idea is there's strategy. And you got to work with your team members and figure out, okay, which ones are we going to go for first? And so they build this and whatever attachments, you know, if you're going to get this to take this over to the flower, 
and oh, it's supposed to lift it up. It's it a, has it's to, a canister of there water. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. to get points for the flower mission, you have to use the big water to raise the flower. And you get extra points if there's little rainwater on the flower. I see. So how are you going to get Symbolic. this thing to do so though it's so it's actually quite challenging. There yeah. are infinite number of ways to build it, infinite number of ways to program and get it to do it, infinite number of ways everything can go wrong. Yes, but Okay, I'm making myself a fourth grader now with yeah. my other nine, potentially nine <laughs> teammates. Okay. And first thing I have to I know the problem. I've got to get the canister of water over from one place to yeah, another. Yeah. And the little one in the flower, I've got to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I have a, I guess I have a catalog of pieces. I can select so my probably pieces. Probably a pile, <laughs> generally, Piles or boxes. Pieces. Okay. It depends how organized, you know, but, you know, you get a certain number of pieces come in the kit, and there's an expansion kit, and then folks can use anything made by Lego can be used. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so, so that, they, that's for the structure of it. So yeah. I can see the Lego pieces. It's all Lego pieces. Yep. Um, but I also see electronic pieces there, which are yep. sort of part Lego and part electronic. Yep. Um, I see wires coming out of them, like uh, Ethernet cable kind wires. Yeah, those are cables. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and if you said the brain. So uh, I, I, I want to okay. have so people understand. Keska, the say the brain. What the is brick. the brain? The brick is where you you um, you actually can plug in your. Um, you're, you're plugging your in USB. a bunch of sensors. Yes, your little USB, and you're programming it on your laptop. Mm -hmm. And you've got your. This one has three motors. Now, if you're going to steer, let's say you start in base. It's a four foot by eight foot playing space. Oops, mm -hmm. sorry. And you start in base. And you got to get it to move, right? So if you have your four motors, you got to use two of them for steering, right? Because yeah. one's got to go and the other one goes backwards if you're going to turn right or yeah. left. And so they got to figure all that out. They got to tell the motors what to do. And you, then you've got the possibility of two other motors that can move things. Like those rotate arms. It. Yeah, exactly. So, so let's say you're brainstorming your... You've got your team, and you're brainstorming. Okay, I want to get the water there. They have all, all kinds of ideas. Can we toss it? <laughs> you know, yeah, how do you get question, it? You know, put, do you drop it? If you just drop it, you know, let's put this flat. If you just drop it, will it be enough? No, it won't, right? Just got to push you it gotta, down. You got to tap it. And, oh, wow, just tap it. Well, that worked, you know, so... Okay. Yeah, so it's a lot of trial and error and learning and experimentation. And sometimes um, you get very creative ideas that work one out of every ten times, and somebody <laughs> may love that idea. It worked, yeah, but it failed nine times. And so part of this whole, you know, robustness and ro you know, the the ability to re replicate the success and the patience to test it, and the willingness to say, okay, I have to allow that idea to go away, start oh, over, start the over. resilience that it takes yeah. with the kids. So, inspiration yeah, and inspiration exactly. and all that. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> let, let's say they got all the points. Let's let's make the flower happy. There we go. Yeah. Now, now you talked about the brain, and I'm interested in the brain because I'm an old-fashioned computer programmer. Yeah. You know if. If then statements and case yeah. statements. And, yeah, actually, yeah. it's clicking and dragging of blocks. Yeah. So you say, okay, this is a motor block, and you click and you drag it. So it's drag and drop. The yeah. programming for the brain is drag and drop. It is. And then you tell it, okay, do I want 100% power going to this and for how long? And if you put 100% power on both motors equally and they're attached to the wheels, it'll just go straight. Right? You can't have that. Well, maybe you want it, but okay, at some point it needs to stop, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. So where do you have it stop? Now, this is where they get into the subtleties of, well, when the battery is freshly charged, it might act a little differently. That's very subtle. What if the wheels are dirty? We had one, one time, the wheels were dirty, and it just wasn't turning the way it should. Yeah. You know, it just wasn't gripping. We actually practiced so long with one of our robots that um, the wheels wore out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so the, 
like, wait, it's, it's not working anymore. But you were able, you were able to adapt the program, well, recreate the program so that it could deal with dirty wheels? That's why you got to use sensors, because if you try to do everything with dead reckoning, okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to make it, aim it directly there, and, you know, every table is probably a little different. Uh, the competition table uh, is not the one you have in your school uh, that you're practicing on. Yeah. yeah so, so you're uh, on the team, is that what happened? No, well, not me, you're not, a not this year. No, you, no, when you, I, you no. Give them little ideas, the, you the, sit with them and give no, them. The, no, actually, what you do is you allow them to discover stuff. Yeah. And you brainstorm with them. In fact, one of the core values is we learn together. You ask questions. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. If, I'm, if I'm a kid and I want to program the brain, you know, to me, that's the most fascinating part of this. Yeah. I have to connect it up with my laptop. Uh -huh. Okay, I have to have a laptop. Yeah. And does it matter if the laptop is a PC or an Apple? Any any laptop would work? I think pretty much you use the PCs. I'm not sure. That would be a, a question for this year's team. Okay. Yeah. And, and I have to download used, some kind of program, probably have to download the program the so storms. I can send signals to the brain. How is the computer attached to the brain? Yeah, I believe that's the Bluetooth. You know, we really should have the kids here. I haven't been I know, involved should, in this. Yeah. You know, Next we time, can do yeah. the in you know, the live thing at the school for yeah, this yeah. type of question. And you ask the kids, and they, they know. know everything. <laughs> Stop asking me hard questions. <laughs> Sorry, that's okay. No, you're not. Yeah. You're not really on the front line. You're on <laughs> no, the I'm back not. line. <laughs> Just try to make sure we have the school set up and the, the volunteers there, and we need so I, I send and I send my I, I I guess I compile my program somehow and I yep. send it to the brain. Now the brain has the program. Yep. But I decide that I need to do something else with the sensors because the wheels could get dirty or the yep. or the table could become bumpy. So you upload the you, you so make I have changes to do it again. and then you upload it again and then you hit the start button and it'll go off and it'll do. Which it'll just, do the new one. It'll, it'll, it'll run the, the new, new program. Yeah. So this the whole iterative process. It's it all is. about engineering and invention and yep. perspiration and inspiration and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. They they must love it. They must have. They must be so focused it's on this. It's a hate thing. Actually, it's very good because you you're so frustrated. It's not working, and then it works, and or somebody has an idea, and you know. So there's that reward, you know. And then you also appreciate your other team members, you know. Because they're so they're doing they're contributing you know yeah to this yeah and you can I suppose if you're just a fly on the wall you can see how the team is functioning yep <clears throat> you can you see the leaders emerge yeah yeah and you can see uh, the, the you know the level of cooperation we from actually, the others we have a graphic that talks about the different parts of this program the triangle the triangle one why don't we look at some graphics Maria okay why don't you take us yeah. for a little tour okay. among the graphics okay okay. Okay, so this is the one that talks about it's more than just robots. You know, the task today might be building the robot. The task tomorrow is maybe the water topics that you're learning. So that's the, the project, the yellow section. You're learning about a topic of importance and you're imagining a solution. Um, and so the, the, they're envisioning that, hey, the, the stuff they're learning in school can be applied to important things. Ah, yes. aha, yeah, the light bulb. Right. Exactly, <laughs> right. And then the red part, the core values of teamwork and respect. So it's not just what you build, it's how you're building it. And everybody gets to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's this whole concept of community. Um, they have this term, gracious professionalism. Where you have to. I hope some of these guys wind up running for office, but that's just a side it's, comment. No, it's it's very it's very true. <laughs> you know, your gracious professionalism, and so when you go when you have the tournaments that we were you know talking about these tournaments, they don't just show up and show how their robot can go get the points and complete the missions. That's the an important part that has a lot of cheering and excitement and competition, but before that. They also have a chance to explain their project where they did research on water oh, topics. In the, in the tournament now. They get, yeah, yeah. They get so to they express have, themselves. Well, yeah. I mean, it's done. You know, they're, they're fourth through eighth graders. And so those um, judged sessions are actually private. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, everybody's not watching okay, while you, just, you, you're, you're just the judges. A couple of judges age, yeah. are, are listening and reacting to their, their yeah. Um, yeah. Pro project. And then there's a chance for them to explain their robot design and the robot design judging and then the third one is a core values which is a teamwork they are given a, a task to show how they work together you mean on the spot yeah yeah Ooh. 
Yeah. That's high pressure. It's like, isn't here, it? here's a game. Go play. <laughs> you know? yeah, you watch them. <laughs> exactly. And we rate them numerically, right? You know, you, you, and they have an opportunity to show how they solve problems. How do they work together? Mm -hmm. uh, do they include everybody? Mm -hmm. You know, do they respect each other's ideas? You know, do you, do you, you know? And wow. so that so that is a very important part of this. That's um, you know, built into all parts of it. And you're building it into the kids. A well, if we give them a chance to, to see the benefit, well, you know. They're very impressionable and it'll probably experiment. have a big, long effect <laughs> yep. on their lives. Yeah, yeah. You know, we like to express ourselves too, uh, you know, usually about 14 minutes after the hour. <laughs> so we're going to take a short time? break, we're going to express right. some public service announcements, and then we'll come back and we'll find out how the tournament works itself. Okay. Sure. That's Maria Tomei. Thank you. Be right back. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Hello, I'm Helen Dora Hyden, the host of Voice of the Veteran, seen here live every Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. As a fellow veteran and veterans advocate with over 23 years experience serving veterans, active duty, and family members, I hope to educate everyone on benefits and accessibility services by inviting professionals in the field to appear on the show. In addition, I hope to plan on inviting guest veterans to talk about their concerns and possibly offer solutions. As we navigate and work together through issues, we can all benefit. Please join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for the Voice of the Veteran. Aloha! Planning all week for the day of the big game. Watching at home just doesn't feel the same. What on the list is who's gonna drive? It's nice to know you're gonna get home alive. Plan for fun and responsibility. Choose the DD. Captain of our team. It's the DD. For every game day, assign a designated driver. Okay, I told you we'd come back. We came back, you know. There's two kinds of people in the world. The follow-through people and the others. We're the follow-through kind. We come back, yeah, after every break, yeah. So, Maria Tomei, there's a couple of things you wanted to mention about this list of all the possible yeah. games you can play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know how we were talking about um, how you can learn stuff by doing? The neat thing about how they've handled the topic part of this, uh, the Lego game piece, is that these mission models are more than just something to have on the board to interact with. They actually tell a story. For example, what, what story do you think is told by this, this action here? I, I love questions like that. Well, could it be that water makes the flower grow? Yeah, <laughs> very good. Yeah. I think so. I could be in the fourth grade I think any so. time. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. And so by... Um, you know, by learning what the missions require, they're also learning a little bit about the topic of the water. So, mm -hmm. you know, like there's a pipe removal. There's a broken pipe. If you're looking at water systems in communities, yeah. broken pipes are a thing, yeah. and they need to be replaced. And yeah. so there's a whole mission to take the broken piece out and put the other Future one Future engineers yep. unite, yeah. They've got pumps, <laughs> and you're adding pumps in the rain. Yeah, um, that you're supposed to make the rain come out of the rain cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Filters, you've got water treatment, and so all these are different possible projects. Is yeah. That what okay. Well, all the, the on, on the on the four foot by eight foot playing board, all these are the mission models that okay. you get points for for doing okay. these things. Fountain. So when you put a big water in the fountain, the, the fountain, you know. Which is, you know, the clear blue, not actual okay, water. Right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. I was waiting for that. You got yeah. manhole covers. You got a tripod. You have to get the inspection camera to just the right spot. I'm sure this is, you know, he's <laughs> <laughs> tricky. Camera. I mean, these are tricky in real life too, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so your um, sludge, move the sludge so it's touching the visible wood of any of the six garden boxes. So I, I guess you're using the sludge as a fertilizer. But these these wouldn't be in the in, for the same team, the team would have to select one of these missions? Or could and they do more than one? You've got two and a half minutes to do as much as you can and get as many points as you can. So okay. it's a strategy, right? Yeah. You know, if you're a beginning team 
and you're just learning how to build and program and the rules of the game, then you're probably going to figure out, okay, which one of these gives me the most points for the least effort? Right. You're going to go for that first, right? right? But if you're a sophisticated, experienced team, you might pick more than one or two. How many could you pick? You Some can't pick them do, all. almost all of them. Really? So usually there's one that's kind of a waste time thing that they could do if they finished everything else. And so you can't ever get all the points. It's a strategy involved. <laughs> exactly. And there, that's the negotiation piece, too. You know, I've, I've been asked to program this and figure out how to do it, and I did, and by golly, and it has to get cut from the movie. I mean, you know, from, <laughs> from the list uh, or left to last, you know. Yeah, and you've got, the, let's see, the water collection, water wells, fire, slingshot. That's an interesting one. Dirty yeah. water, and oh, you have to um, separate the clean water and the dirty water, that's, which is a thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing, too. And the faucet, you're supposed to. Oh, that's, I see, this is the this How is much the, time do they the have mission. to, to uh, you know, address this and try to wrap well, around all started, these issues? Well, we started, you know, the, the season kind of starts in general in August when school comes back. Yeah, August but, and November but, but the is kickoff only two months. Is, yeah, the kickoff is the beginning of September. Okay. And that's when you get, you that's know, two the, months. the details. Yeah, September, exactly. September, October is yep. all it is. Yep, huh? yep. That's a lot of work. So, I mean, is this during the, the curriculum day or is this after hours? You know, it what, depends what on the team. That? You know, some of the teams have, um, they're part of an after school program. Mm -hmm. Some have actually been integrated into the curriculum. Mm -hmm. You know, some schools have it. They're gifted and talented. You kids. encourage that, right? Do that it well, be I integrated. Encourage. You, you know, you're, you're the, well, the, however it works. Yeah, every team is different. You know, some, mm -hmm. some teams are um, convened, you know, they're. Boy Scout or Girl Scout troops, so, or, or have a boys and, around it, or yeah. Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. or you know something like that. And others are just, um, you know, or homeschool teams. We've got some homeschool teams, and some are just groups of parents who get together and say, "Hey, let's do this," and they pull together a team, and you've got an after, and kind of an after school weekend type of activity. Yeah. yeah. So it's so, open, you know. All, you know in all the end, the, the yeah. best system w will result in the best. You know the best uh, meeting, meeting the, the standards, and yep. and they'll win. So you have to sort of work it back, right? If so, who, who won, and what path did they follow? You know, it's not. You, it's not one of the core values. It's not about what you win. It's about what you learn. Okay. Yeah. So how it, do you measure that? Well, you measure that by at the end of the season, you think back and say, wow, that was cool. That was, that was fun. Yeah. You know, and then as you go on, next time you have a challenge of either working with people or coming up with a strategy or negotiating or, you know, building stuff with, with pieces in the three-dimensional realm, yeah. you, th you can think back, oh, yeah, we tried that, that worked. You know, so all that experience is is useful in you know in your life and so it's not who wins would you say that the lives of these kids are affected by their experience with this program i would yeah yeah carry it forward yeah. definitely yeah as i said yeah. you know kids are very impressionable yeah. sometimes yeah. they learn so quick it just boggles the mind how they oh, integrate all that yeah information. that's that's why if you want to know about the robot you actually got to talk to the kids <laughs> yeah got more yeah. graphics we got some pictures okay, from one of the um, tournaments them. last year yeah, okay just so you can see some of the, the excitement at the tournament. Yeah. It was last year, this the topic a, this was is animal. This a photograph of the kids. Oh, oh, there they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, there, you can see in the middle is the table, um, and the tall people there are the uh, referees or, um, yep, the head ref and some refs. Who are they? Are they people like you? Or are they yeah, of? volunteers. Volunteers? Yeah, volunteers. Are they engineers? No. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I mean, yeah. there are some. I mean, the engineers do tend to be attracted to uh, events like this. And on the table, I guess I see a lot of these Lego robots, right? Yeah, each table has probably has one somewhere. Or what happens after the match is actually they put the they take the robot off, and there's some of the kids and the pa well, parents. Okay, <laughs> we'll see the parents the, taking the pictures. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, quite yeah. A few. Th I guess this is during the uh, announcement. Of the awards, uh -huh. so you can see the two tables and nobody's around it at that point because uh -huh. it's all over. They're one of the winners, Pretty the champions, excited. yeah, Animal well, Allies, the champions from the that team coming from together. that yeah. district yeah. tournament. Yeah, another winner, <laughs> four values. A good time or what? Yeah, <laughs> fourth through eighth graders, and some teams are like a you know fifth grade or sixth These grade. Kids are so beautiful; they're our most valuable product. They really yeah. are. Yeah, and there's the oh, the, look at that robot. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah. Uh, you can see that one. It's got quite a big thing on front. One of the attachments there. 
Well, let, let's spring from. Oh, we got a lot and of pictures. And explaining, here. yeah, yeah, and it's up to the kids also to ex to explain things um, to the judges. Where was this? This was at UH West Oahu. Uh, okay, last and year. where's it going to be this year? Well, the ten tournaments are all over the place, and um, there's one at Pearl City. And there's that's, multiple yeah. venues going on at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And then it works up to a, sort of a pyramid at the top. Well, actually, it's just the district tournaments, and so that's you know you pick one district tournament for your team to to be at, and then the, a certain number of winners from each of those will be um, invited to attend the championship. Okay, in so December. the winners are in a final round. Right, and so, so you have 42 teams in December, and you know, as I said, over 100 teams throughout the state okay. in uh, November. And suppose, uh, well, let me go through it first. So I'm on a team. I go down to a, a room like that, West Oahu, wherever it is. Yeah. What's my what, what's my activity at at the competition? So in the morning, you and your team will be going to three different judging sessions, um, and it's all scheduled, right? So you're like, okay, I got to be there at nine fifteen. We're going to go give our present our project in Private. the project, right? And then maybe at you know. 9.45, you've got the core values activity, and then maybe at you know, 10.15, you've got your robot design judging, where you have your robot, they have a mat with all the mission models on, the, there are about 10 mission models, <laughs> there's a whole bunch, okay. and you, you explain how you designed your robot, what you do strategy-wise, how you programmed it, uh -huh. yes. And Does then, the judges look at the actual code? Uh, they very often, the very often they very often the, the, they'll actually have it printed out. Ah, uh, now there's not always time. This is all five minutes yeah, to yeah, explain yeah. your oh, robot yeah. and your strategy, very and then you can demonstrate. You know, you pick your favorite mission and you show off your uh -huh, robot. Okay. Yeah. You show it off, and, and then now the judges are rating it. They have rating sheets and yeah, and, but it's really it's a rubric. Values. It's a rubric. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you know, did um, was the robot, for example, there's a um, robustness category. You know, does it stay together well? Yeah, 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 <laughs> or is the yeah. thing falling apart every time somebody touches it? Yeah, you know, yeah. um, the programming side, the strategy side. You know, on the project, they're required to research a, pro a problem related to water in Hawaii. You know, did did they do research? Did they talk to experts? Sure, did and they you can find out by possibly go on and letting field them tell trips? you how much research they did. Yeah. yeah, and then if they had an idea, did they research? Is it done yet? What will it cost? What's involved? Do you oh, have to, oh, you know, disobey the laws of physics in order yeah, for this to work, right? Sim City. Exactly. <laughs> so the entrepreneur, right. Could you develop it? If so, what would it take? You know. Yeah. Okay, so now these kids go up the go up the pyramid. Oh, well, and then you get lunch. Don't forget. Oh, don't forget lunch. Okay. So then you after know, you that, there's a lunch break. You can't do a competition like this without lunch. Yes. It's sort of a gratification <laughs> thing. <laughs> the judges, too. Okay, so after everybody gets lunch, right, then you start the... Um, part of the program that has to do with the um, robot competition. Well, they actually operate the yeah. robots. Yeah. That's so, that's really to right. me. If I was a judge, that'd be you know where the rubber meets well, the road. Then you got to be a referee. Referee. Those are the referees. Referee. Yes. Okay. So each table has two referees. So I say, okay, kids, let me let me see so what you can do here. Teams are all scheduled. Okay, yeah. I'm first up. You know, Start so the bubble machine. Let's two, see what you can do. Two team, two members of the team will go up to the the table and get the robot all set up. They'll check that everything's proper. If there's a model that's built wrong, you know, let's say this thing was built wrong and it, oops, and it wouldn't, <laughs> or the rain is missing, whatever. The kids actually have to inspect the playing board before they start because they're responsible to make sure everything is in working order. Because if they don't do it and then something doesn't work, they didn't that's check the, it. They had a chance. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's it's like that's a pilot checking out the plane and it yep. lands. <laughs> yeah. So they check everything, make sure it's all good, and then there's a countdown. Da -da 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 -da. And then they, they go ahead and start, and the robot moves out of the base area and goes and does its thing and comes back, and they manipulate, they take off attachments, they take <laughs> off pieces, they add things, they send it out again. And, and, and all the other teams are watching this, too. Yes, it's not in yes, a, in a yes. Silo, yeah. And after two, and parents, it's public in the afternoon. Yeah, you yeah. know, the after okay. lunch part is, is public. And, so, uh, you know, after two and a half minutes of very high intensity, you know, cheering, you know, groans sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work, right? Yeah, the one, you know, thing you thought would be perfect just didn't do it. Sometimes there was one, one year where you had to throw the soccer ball into the, anyway, you know, that was one where if it made it, it you'd hear tons of cheers, you know, it was one of those, yeah. So, so after two and a half minutes of all that excitement, it's like, okay, it stops, me. And everybody steps back, and then they look at what's, you know, is the flower up or down? 
Like you wouldn't get points if it's down, but you get the points if the big water made it go up. You know, and, uh, and you so know this forth. is this is really interesting because yeah. you can make it easily. Yeah. You can program it on a drag and drop. So you're giving these kids, you're empowering them. You know. Yeah. I mean, and the idea of having machinery respond to you in that way. Yeah. It's, it's the sense of empowerment that you can actually make peace with the tech world around us and all that, and you can become a professional doing it. Maria, I'm so glad you do this. Thanks. Um, it's, it's, this is good <laughs> it's for you, fun. and yeah. it's, it's, it's good for energy. I know you care yep. a lot about that. Yep. yep. And it's good for these kids and therefore our community. And I want to show you something, though, okay? We here at ThinkTech, we also are empowered. Oh, yeah. And we have systems and machines that will respond uh -oh. to what we ask. So, for example, when I say the show is over and we're going out, watch this.